Greetings, folks. We bring you some breaking news that has just arrived. I want to share it with all of you, Ohio State fans. But before we begin, I have a question for each and every one of you. Do you truly love Ohio? Let us know in the comments how devoted of a fan you are, and don't forget to leave a like on the video. Now, let's dive into the news that has been making waves on the internet in the past few hours. Let's talk. In the thrilling 20-12 victory against number 7 Penn State, what stood out as the biggest determining factor? Would it be the defense that wins championships? Perhaps the crucial third down conversions? No, in fact, it all comes down to one specific player, Marvin Harrison Jr. Thanks to a crucial touchdown in the fourth quarter, scored by Drew Aller, those 18 hard-earned yards proved to be the difference in Columbus. And who was the standout? Marvin Harrison Jr., of course. He was named Offensive Player of the Week for his record-breaking performance against the Nittany Lions. The junior receiver impressed with 11 receptions for 162 yards and a touchdown. These exceptional performances are becoming the norm for Harrison, who is one of the top prospects for the NFL draft next April. Believing that Harrison won't reach triple-digit numbers in his stats is almost foolish at this point. The victory last Saturday marked the 12th game of Harrison's career in which he achieved at least 100 yards in a single game. With this feat, he now occupies the second position on the all-time list, surpassing the talented Chris Olave of the New Orleans Saints. With two more performances like Saturday's, Harrison will equal David Boston as the player with the most 100-yard games. And if he manages to achieve three such performances, he will be at the top of that category for years to come. Harrison's dominance is noteworthy, and he proved it once again against Penn State, the national leader in pass defense, allowing an average of just 121.2 yards per game. Harrison outplayed the opposing defense before reaching the end zone, with only 4 minutes and 7 seconds left on the clock. Penn State's offense struggled immensely to convert on third downs against the defense led by Jim Knowles, managing only one conversion out of 16 attempts. And Harrison contributed to that success, converting all four of his reception attempts on third downs. Penn State coach James Franklin admitted to having difficulty containing Harrison's impact, stating, We taught our team to be aware of that and limit the impact of number 18 but we struggled to do that. Meanwhile, Michigan quarterback J.J. McCarthy, who continues to lead the Wolverines in the rankings, also deserves an honorable mention. He completed an impressive 77.8% of his passes for 287 yards and four touchdowns in the 49-0 victory over Michigan State. It's an honor for McCarthy to share the spotlight with the Big Ten's best player, Marvin Harrison Jr. Now, looking ahead to the future, there are four games remaining before the big clash between number three Buckeyes, 7 0, 4 0 Big Ten, and number two Wolverines, 8 0, 4 0 Big Ten, on November 25th at the Big House. There is plenty of time for McCarthy and Harrison to shine even brighter, and both are considered top contenders for this year's Heisman Trophy. Speaking of which, after Washington quarterback Michael Penix Jr.'s three interceptions in the 15 7 victory over Arizona State last Saturday, the race for the Heisman is wide open. This includes our talented receiver, Marvin Harrison Jr., who garners praise even when facing double coverage that fails to stop him. Now we want to hear from you, Ohio State fans, what do you think of this news? Leave your comments below and share your expectations for the upcoming games. Let's cheer together for the Buckeyes!